Welcome back everybody to 164 Revival. In this episode of the Four Horsemen, Keith, Xavier, and Paul and I are going to be doing the 56 Ford pickup in the theme gas and oil. Let's get right to it. here so I'm gonna cut the uh, cut the metal tabs that keep the axles in because we're uh, we're gonna do a wheel swap okay now I noticed on the base that it had pipes that did come out and there's little grooves but I'm gonna widen these out because I'm gonna put some canis aluminum tubing and make these uh, tips a little, little, little bigger, a little more noticeable. Now the interior and the the engine, what they made of it, you really couldn't see it, uh, but it did have a scoop sticking up out of the hood and it was real dirty. so I'm gonna cut this off and need to file that down there flat because I've got uh, I got some 3d printed scoops from uh, blue mini TSI customs that I'm gonna throw on there and here's a little little bitty scoop you can't really see because of my big old fingers in there but looks like it's gonna work just need to glue it up there and then we'll uh, chrome it later. Already got the body ready, cleaned up. All ready for some primer. We're going to use the white Steinol res. Probably going to apply that also to the uh, interior. So let's put that on so we can uh, get ready for a little paint. Start off with some Createx Pearlized White 5310, and just enough that uh, I can cover the cover the whole car. And then we need to put in the 40/30 uh, balancing, and I usually do a 50/50 mix. Some do 60/40s. Uh, I just 50/50 is good. Then we're going to add some 40/12. Uh, Reducer, make it flow real good coming out of the brush. I like to mix this just by hand, just a stir stick. I uh, don't like to use the uh, the electric. Now I'm going to apply this. Uh, all over the car because what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back with some black. I'm going to kind of two-tone this just with a pearl white roof and then try to go with a pearl black. Uh, but I want this I want this pearl undercoat under that black because it's it's translucent to that pearlized uh, Crea text. masked off as you can see and we're going to use the uh, pearlized black for the rest of the body and it's it's also kind of a translucent and it's got some metal flake look to it real subtle though again here we go with the 4030 
Then I'll come in with the 4012. We'll uh, thin it out pretty good. paint job's done, it's dry, we're going to do a little decal work. I made my own decals with uh, some white water slide paper because I'm putting it on the uh, black portions of the body right there on the door as you can see. And with the white, obviously you can see all the colors come through. You just got to make sure that you uh, cut edges good. And I'm using the uh, micro set to uh, put the decal down. And then I'll go over it with some micro saw uh, to hit the edges so that when you clear coat it, uh, those edges set down and it, it looks more like you've got a paint job than a, a decal or sticker or what have you. get these wheels on uh, being that I clipped off the, the metal tabs from the base that held the axles in I'm gonna go ahead and glue just gonna use some gel Gorilla glue and then dab some a couple drops of uh, accelerator do that on both of them these wheel and tire setups are real riders that uh, got from treads hobby on Facebook a lot of you guys know about them if you don't you can give them a give them a search uh, got a got a lot of selection very cool and here we are a little mismatch set front to back she's a roller all right now you remember we made exhaust tips so I'm gonna go ahead and put these on I think the base is pretty much ready got the wheels on and all I really got to do is uh, get to an insulation point here. I'm going to need those on there. I think they look pretty cool. All right, here's a little afterthought. I'm going to make a tonneau cover. Add some, uh, some plastic that I believe was uh, some 3D printed, like diamond plate, but it really didn't look like diamond plate. It looked just more kind of textured. They were strips that I put together, glued them together, and painting them up right now. I'm gonna do it a, kind of a flat or, or matte black. Slap that in the bed. Now I'm gonna detail this up a little bit further. Um, right now I'm putting on some glue. And I'm gonna use the clear, the real little clear uh, gems I picked up at, uh, oh, I think a Joanne Fabrics or something like that. And they are fiddly, even with the, as you can see, pick it up, come on. I'll try the other one. There we go. They like to jump around, but once you get it, you get it and you get it on there. Look pretty cool for headlights. Gives a little added touch.
All right, so this is what we started out with, the 56 Ford pickup. This is a casting that Paul from Die Cast Graveyard sent over for uh, us to customize and have a little fun with. And here's what I come up with, a uh, two-tone white and black pearl 56 Ford Oil Zum pickup. Hope you guys liked it. Please go check out the other three guys of the Four Horsemen. We got Xavier over at Diecast Show Customs, Paul at Diecast Graveyard, and Keith over at Outlaw Speed Shop. I want to thank everybody for checking out this episode of 164 Revival and the Four Horsemen. We'll catch you on the next one.